We're looking at a really nice forecast, Molly. Yeah. Not a whole lot of rain today. We had a weak cold front move through during the overnight hours. So some of us were actually starting off in the upper 60s and the humidity is relatively low. We'll go ahead and start you off with your weather headlines. Now there is a high rip current risk along the Atlantic coast as we go through today, and that can be an issue if you are planning to head out to the beach. We are looking at a pretty dry afternoon, the humidity staying nice and low, comfortable, and the tropics, of course, are still busy. We're getting closer to the peak season, which is September 10th, tracking two named storms, and one area that we are closely watching. It's a tropical wave off the coast of Africa. Here's a live look in Daytona Beach, a gorgeous shot, but look at the waves, it looks rough because we are looking at increasing swells due to the remnants of Idalia way off to the northeast of our area over the Atlantic Ocean. So we are dealing with winds out of the northeast at eight miles per hour, temperatures again, upper 70s. And for many of us, we are starting off in the 70s and upper 60s in a few locations, which I'll show you in just a bit. But here's a look at the wave heights. This is what I'm talking about, the remnants of Idalia. You can see increasing our waves over our Atlantic coast, and that's why we are looking at a high rip current risk today. And not only that, a small craft advisory is in effect through tomorrow night. So if you are planning on taking the boat out, just make sure you're being very careful. Beach forecast overall looking good, 85 degrees. The waters will be nice and warm, but the rip current risk is high. UV index is also high, so don't forget the sunscreen. We could see the surf between four to five feet. So talking about the setup as we go through today here locally, weak cold front move through the area. It is now stalled southwest of us, but behind that frontal boundary, it lowered the humidity and also brought in somewhat relatively cooler temperatures. We also have a column of dry air to our north. It'll try to work into our area as we go through the afternoon hours, and that's going to keep our rain chances low between 10 to 20 percent. So overall looking at a pretty dry day. Temperatures 73 in Sanford as well as Orlando. Orlando, here's what I'm talking about, the villages. You all are starting off your day in the upper 60s and it feels great out there. Coastal area is a little bit warmer. Cocoa Beach, good morning, 78 and 80 degrees out in Melbourne. So as we go through the morning, we'll see a mix of sunshine and clouds. Clouds will continue to thin out as we go through later on today. Expect a mostly sunny day. But once again, temperatures are expected to climb into the upper 80s this afternoon, but not as humid. So it's going to be a rather comfortable day. Here's a look at your forecast highs. New Smyrna Beach and Daytona, 86. 89 in Leesburg, 91 degrees in the villages, and Lakeland climbing into the upper 80s this afternoon. So future radar relatively quiet. We'll continue to see a few clouds move into the area. East Coast sea breeze is also going to kick up. We may see an isolated shower or two over Flagler County, and that's about it. Many spots are expected to remain dry as we go through tonight and as we head into tomorrow. If you have any plans tomorrow, not a whole lot of rain in the forecast. In fact, everything looks like it will stay pretty dry as we go through your Labor Day if you do have any plans. Switching gears to what's going on in the tropics, still looking at two named storms. We have Tropical Storm Katia and Tropical Storm Gert. Again, there are no tropical threats to our area, but watching this wave out in the eastern Atlantic, we're calling it Invest 95L. The National Hurricane Center has placed a 30% chance for tropical development in the next 48 hours. But as we go through the next several days, a 70%, we may see a tropical depression form as it continues to move to the east over the central Atlantic. But as of right now, again, it is continuing to organize some. And I do want to show you the tropical models. As you can see for yourself, there's no agreement. They're kind of all over the place. But a few models are taking it pretty close to the Lesser Antilles, but we have plenty of time, plenty of time to watch to see what happens with that tropical wave. Here's a look at your seven day, 89 today, 10% coverage for showers and storms, 90 tomorrow, and rain chances stay low all week.